congratulations to you all. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jamie Bielski. I just graduated from Creekside High School and I will be starting at the University of Florida in the fall. It was hard for me as I was writing this speech not to reminisce on this very day for myself, my eighth grade graduation. I was full of excitement for what was to come. I was eager to begin my high school career at a big school full of new opportunities for involvement, friendship, and growth. I am sure many of you today share the same feeling. These next four years will be amazing and exciting, but most of all, totally and completely yours to make for yourself. With that said, I want to share some lessons I've learned in the past four years that will hopefully guide you toward success. When I left the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School, I was grateful for my experience, but excited to run off and not look back. I was eager to make totally new friends and involve myself in new organizations. You may all be thinking, isn't this the girl who tried to persuade me into joining Kadima and only posts pictures of her and her old Martin J. Gottlieb Day School friends on her Instagram? And to that I say, yep, that's me. Learn from my, from my initial naiveness and don't make the same mistake of leaving with the mindset of never returning. This building, these people, and the knowledge you have acquired here will be a strong constant in your life and will bring you an enormous sense of security. Throughout my four years of high school, the most consistent friends have come from here. The people that, in a perfect world, would be sitting next to you in the sanctuary right now are the people who will always have your back. Never forget that. With that said, though you will always have your friends and mentors from the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School, I highly encourage you to branch out and get involved in your new environment. Try out for a sport you've never previously played. Join that cool club that seems interesting. Don't see a particular club you had your mindset on joining? Start one of your own. The more you branch out, the easier your transition will be. I took this advice that somebody gave me in eighth grade, and having never run before, I joined the track and field team freshman year. I was nervous and frankly, really bad at running, but I made the team. I not only had a good workout every day, but also made some new great friends and memories. Another piece of advice I have for you is to be unapologetically you. Don't fall into the trap of trying to fit in and be like everybody else. You will find that where you do fit in will be with the people who accept you for all of your goofiness and quirks. Another part of you is your Judaism. I know how intimidating it is to leave the comfort of the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School and find yourself unsure of how others may or may not accept you for your Judaism. Anti-Semitism is scary and something I hope you never have to face firsthand. However, if you do, I strongly encourage you to speak up and be a leader. After four years of addressing and handling any issues I had with anti-Semitism, my friend overheard a kid at my school say, you can't say anything anti-Semitic around Jamie because she will call you out. I am proud that my effort and persistence has not gone unrecognized and has made an impact on at least one person. An impact that encourages this kid to think twice about what he says and recognize the magnitude of his words. Even if it is uncomfortable, be that person who speaks up and defends their religion. My mission has been to not let any ignorance stem from my place of education and I highly encourage you to take that on wherever you are next year. While there may be some unpleasant things that come with being Jewish in a big school, there are many, many more incredible opportunities you have to look forward to. I have been an avid supporter and member of both the Kosher Food Club and Jewish Student Union at Creekside. Attending club meetings are the highlight of my weeks, but something I enjoy more is bringing my non-Jewish friends to meetings and teaching them all about what it is like to be Jewish. All of my friends are fascinated, supportive, and eager to learn more. With that said, you should also be eager to learn more. Your Judaism does not end when you leave this school. I encourage you to take on at least one Jewish thing during your high school career, whether it is being active in a Jewish club, becoming involved in USY, shameless plug, going to Ramah, another shameless plug, taking on an Israel internship, CITing at Camp Kitov, and or committing yourself to attending synagogue once a month. As many of you know, I chose many of these options, and I could not be more grateful for the experience this involvement has led me to have. One final piece of advice I would like to leave you with is this. Don't stop until you're proud. This is a cheesy quote that I found on Pinterest one day a few years ago, but is genuinely a phrase I remind myself of often and try my hardest to live by. 
If every product of your effort is something you are proud of, I promise that you will feel more accomplished and be more successful in your endeavors. So, Martin J. Gottlieb Day School Class of 2020, I hope over the next four years and throughout your lives, you remember your roots, find your people, get involved Jewishly, and don't stop until you're proud, all while being unapologetically you. Congratulations on your successful completion of middle school. I look forward to hearing all about your achievements and seeing you in person as soon as possible. Thank you and Mazel Tov.